So what I ended up actually doing, because this, this uh, tension is too tight for my liking, the 16 Newton meter. I like more of a 12. But uh, I tried buying from Bike Ahead, a company that was selling it for $48. But I guess um, they ran out of stock. And then everyone else is selling it for like $88 or $90. And I only bought these pedals for $80. Sorry, plane. Yeah, I only bought these pedals for $80. So. What I ended up doing, because this, this carbon here, I measured it with the digital caliper. It measures in at 1.73 millimeter at the thickest, the thickest spot. That's the, the thickness. So then I, I used the Dremel tool good old Dremel tool right here to sand down to sand down the thickness of this carbon leaf spring until it until it reached 1.17 and then at the thinnest point was 1.02 millimeter and then after I sanded it on the inside so the outside would still look good and then to protect it I uh, brought it over here and uh, that's this is what it looks like thinned out now right there so much thinner and uh, I use the nail polish no chip no chip acrylic top coat to cover up the parts of the carbon fiber that I sanded down with the Dremel tool. So that should decrease the overall tension needed to unclip from the pedal. And then getting everything undone from the pedal, you just need uh, two little Torx tool. Uh, what is this? This is a T8. A T8, sorry, it's not focusing. T8. And I also used a T T nine T nine in uh, in the vise here, and I also used the vise grip in order to undo the the pinch bolt, which uses the Torx formation right there. And then I'll re-grease this and put it back in. Or I'll just lightly oil it. Yeah. I don't think it was heavy grease. And then the other side just uses a screw with a Torx as well. Yeah, so that's for the Look Keel. Look Keel Blade. Look Keel Blade classic pedals since the 12 newton meter is so hard to find um, and I'm not about to buy a whole new pedal system just to get the 12s uh, I will post in the description or make another video to let you know how it goes um, that's moving the 16 newton meter down to 12 by just thinning out the carbon.
Make sure you wear a mask while you're sanding down carbon fiber and uh, dust off the carbon fiber away from you um, maybe in the yard somewhere or near a trash can or dustpan so that the carbon particles don't get into your airway that's um, very dangerous situation so always use gloves and and a mask when dealing with sanding or cutting carbon fiber. Alright, uh, like and subscribe.